Welcome to our lecture, Newfoundland and Labrador. Facts about Newfoundland and Labrador. The population of Newfoundland and Labrador is 530,376 based on the census of 2016. So half a million people. St. John's, located on the eastern tip of Newfoundland Avalon region, is the capital of Newfoundland and Labrador. When it comes to the job market, the economy of NL rely on natural resources. Electric power is the largest industry in the area. The tourism industry is growing in the province. Mining industry is also very important. And agricultural products are abundant and in high production. The NL main cities are St. John's population of over 808,860 people, Colonel Brook, Gander, Grand Falls, Happy Valley, Goose Bay, and Labrador City. In that order, the cities that you can find in the Newfoundland Labrador area. The province will have more importance when the new rural pilot program starts which some expect Newfoundland Labrador will benefit for that pilot program, in which employer will probably not require a LMIA to hire foreign workers. So pay attention to the news in 2019 of the development of this new program. But for sure, Newfoundland Labrador will looking for that program to participate for small cities. Now let's take a look at recommended online resources. Here we are in the website of Newfoundland Labrador. It's the website for the province and territories. In this case, we have information for employers, but in also you have information for people looking to immigrate to Canada through that province, and also information about the benefits of the immigration. So. You can check in the other side here, the left side, you have all the information for employers, the provincial nominee program, and also the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, that which is province is part of. Some myths and facts uh, that you can check. If you click here, I'm interested in becoming a permanent resident in Newfoundland Labrador. You're gonna, it's gonna take you to the website to check the information for the applicants and for employers. And he mentioned something about, a part about it, the Atlantic Immigration Pilot. So, anything information here you can check, explore. You can learn more and apply online by following this link. Of course, it's basically gonna tell you the requirements for the programs, but if you're working already in Newfoundland and Labrador, then you're gonna have more opportunities. And here I just tell you about the choices for applying under the program. Most of the time you're gonna need some kind of job offer or be working in Newfoundland and Labrador with a Canadian employer in order to qualify, but you always need to check because every province and territory like to try new programs and for you to be keep yourself up to date it's good to check the website another page that we can check as well is finding a job and this is in the same page and here you have all the links related to that information but mostly the most recommended way to do it is using the job bank since the website mostly for you to use the Job Bank of Canada and basically just for mentioning the region you can check the jobs and here are all the cities available in the province and territories so here you have all the job posted in April 2019 that you can check through the Job Bank okay another thing you can do is to use the interactive map to have a better idea of where is Newfoundland Labrador located. 
So you can see here we are in Ottawa. Let me just zoom here. So Ottawa, Montreal, Quebec City, and Nova Scotia is here, New Brunswick. This part of the US, this part of the Canada. And here we go. This is the part for Newfoundland Labrador. And here you have a better idea where the cities are located. So Happy Valley Goose Bay, North River, so all the cities on the coast. So it's a vast uh, land, Labrador City. It's a vast area, very big. Uh, but of course, the cities are a little apart to, from each other. And because there's a lot of natural research, uh, forestry, fishing, mining, there's a lot of, of resources that are being exploring and now that's why this small town will look for participation in uh, pilot programs just to help attract foreign workers to this part of Canada. So I hope you find this information useful and um, please check the resources and the link including the lecture. And thank you very much.